How you doing today? Welcome. Today, my name, my name is Lars Eric Robinson with Lars Arts. I thought we'd talk about how to airbrush on shirts and clothes. Um, as you can see, I have a shirt here already, and I started uh, drawing. I use a light pencil, and uh, got an idea of where I'm going to go with this. And you, what you have to keep in mind is that you can never go back because you can't go darker on a white shirt. You can't go over the dark again. So uh, I'm right, awesome because I believe maybe I'm awesome because I love how this effect comes out. Started out as a graffiti artist, so I definitely know how to do bubble letters. And I went to art school, so we could take this and we can make it. Oh God, we can make it fly out at you. And we can take a stencil. You can use stencils on, uh, on, on clothes too. This kind of helps the whole... If you want to do a chrome effect in there, you can take that edge of that piece and create a chrome effect. Isn't that awesome? So that's how you, you have to understand that you can't go over again and, and when it gets darker. If you want to go on top of this, it's going to be very hard to take a light and go on top of it because you have to work from light to dark on clothes. And once you're done with this, you just, just put a hair, t t take a hair dryer and dry it on there, and then you can wash it. And uh, use a, I'm using a regular Createx paints. But you could also use textile paints, whatever you want. So enjoy. Keep airbrushing.